Hey everybody, it's Lizzie. I'm here today to film... That is my roommate's dog. She's not here right now. He needs to stay in his kennel, but he is upset about it because he knows that I'm here. He's fine, I promise. So... Okay, so I'm here to film an update video because life has been crazy and a lot of things have happened and I have not had time to blog or anything about it because life is wild. So 2018, already a pretty crazy year. Um, I transferred colleges, my parents moved to Seattle, um, Solomon, my then boyfriend, went to basic training for the military, got back from basic training for the military. It was a lot. So once school started in August, I was like, okay, I'm at school. My parents are gone. Solomon's here. It's fine. Like everything's going to be chill. We just got to get used to school, whatever. In, uh, I guess September. Um, so Solomon was in something called the cadet program here at the school. And it's basically like junior ROTC if you know what that is but like at the college level and basically you like go through it throughout college and then afterwards you like get a commission to be in the military so he was in that program because he was already in the military so it just made sense and basically there was this one weekend where he was doing drill for the school he does that like once a month and um, we were hanging out and someone came in and was like hey, Solomon, did you get everything figured out with your unit? And his unit is his, like, National Guard unit. And that's, like, actual military. Like, that's the unit that he trains with and does drill with once a month. And I thought that the weekend was a drill for the school. So I was kind of confused about why this guy was talking about Solomon's National Guard unit. And Solomon was just like, yep. And then he was being super vague about it. And I was like, something is up. So immediately I was like, are you getting deployed? Basically, yeah, um, he found out that he was probably going to get deployed along with like two other guys from the school. Um, normally, if you're in the cadet program and you're going to school, you are not allowed to get deployed through the military, even if you're like enlisted. But they found a loophole where because these three guys weren't on a specific scholarship to attend school, they were deployable. So that was on like a Sunday and I like flipped out. I mean, he had just gotten back from basic like three months before. I was like, you haven't even been in the military a whole year. Like you can't be deploying, like that's insane. So that was a really emotional night. And then Monday we didn't hear anything. And then Tuesday I was at work and he called me in the evening and he was like, I'm getting deployed. So that was a rough week for both of us. I mean, neither of us saw that coming like at all never would have ever expected him to one get deployed like at all because he's in the national guard and they rarely get deployed and then two because he was in school he was supposed to not be able to get deployed so that was crazy um so that whole week was just like figuring out okay when do you start training when do you leave when do you deploy how long are you going to be gone where are you going stuff like that and then from there, we decided to get married. So about a month later, maybe a little over a month, um, we got married. And it was not just because of deployment. Um, Solomon and I have been together for almost three years now. And I think since he got back from basic or since like the basic training process, we knew that like we were going to be together. And we were originally planning on just waiting to finish school because, you know, school, we just wanted to kind of do our own thing, figure it out. But we started talking about it and we realized that deployment was actually a really good opportunity for us to get married sooner because there are certain perks that come along with it. And Solomon wasn't sure at all that he wanted to come back to school after deployment. So we just decided it made sense for us to get married now before he left. We talked about it. We talked to both of our parents or both of our sets of parents. They thought that it was a good idea. We talked to some close friends and then three weeks later we got engaged. Um, it was super casual. I mean, I saw it coming, so it wasn't like a big thing. And then a week after we got engaged, we got married. And it was 
crazy how fast everything happened, but it was so awesome because it was, even if it hadn't been like a rush thing, it turned out exactly how I would have wanted it to. It was super small, just close family, close friends, um, really like minimal, not a big thing, and that's exactly what both of us wanted. So it came together really awesome. So we got married and then we got married on a Sunday and then on Wednesday he started training. So it was kind of weird. Um, he would be gone all throughout the week and I would only see him Friday night to Monday morning. That was probably the most stressful period of deployment because it was just like the anticipation of it was starting and he was so busy running around and he was just getting so tired of it. And we were both just like, we kind of wished he was already gone so that we could just like start chipping away at time. And um, so that went on until Thanksgiving and then he stopped getting bussed up on the weekends. So between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I went down one weekend and I got to see him. And then he got a few days off for Thanksgiving, a few days off for Christmas, and then he deployed um, end of December. So a couple days after Christmas. Now that he's gone, it's actually a lot better for both of us, I think, because we're both just busy doing our own things. Um, we have jobs, you know, that we're doing and it's just a matter of like counting down now. So it's just more exciting than anything I would say. I mean, there are still days where it's super rough, but it's also kind of nice because we got married so soon before he left that we didn't get in the rhythm of getting married yet. So it's not like it was a big disruptance to our daily lives. We were still pretty much only used to seeing each other like a handful of times a week. So it's not like we were going from seeing each other all day, every day to not at all. So that was a pretty good transition. And then the other big thing that happened is um, I switched majors at my school because I was realizing that the major I had, um, my graduation date just kept getting pushed back from what I wanted to do. I had to get through all these prerequisites that were really specific and I was just getting really frustrated. So I switched my major to political science with a minor in history and I'm now able to graduate this fall. So I have the rest of spring and then I'm taking a couple summer classes and then fall semester and then I'm done. So I am so excited to graduate and it works out really perfectly because Solomon will come back and then I'll basically have two months left of school and then I'll be graduated. And that's also kind of why we wanted to go ahead and get married now is so that when he came back we could just go ahead and move in together and then start working and figuring out where do we want to end up, what do we want to do for careers, that sort of thing. We wouldn't have to go through the whole wedding process or like, you know, things like that. So 2020, after I graduate, after he's back, I'm like, I just want peace and quiet for just a couple months, please. So, I mean, I'm sure something else crazy is going to happen, but hopefully not. Um, I'm thinking about doing separate videos on like getting married young and dealing with deployment and things like that. I do have some care package videos that are coming out. Those are super cute, I think. So that's exciting. But yeah, so that's how my life has been. Very tiring, very emotionally and physically tiring. So um, yeah, I'm trying to see this as like an opportunity for growth and development rather than like an obstacle. But I mean, you know, I have bad days, I have good days, so it just, it depends. Overall though, um, I'm very thankful for this experience. I think we both are. I think it's really, really strengthened us as a couple and as individuals, so I know it's going to be good in the long run, but that's about it for today. I'm about to go cook some food, um, and yeah, so I will talk to you guys soon. Like I said, look out for those care package videos. Those are super fun to film, so I'm excited to put those out there. And then I'll probably do some more videos about, you know, marriage and deployment and things if you guys are interested. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.